ZL Entertainment. Okay. So did we get anything new in here? We got most of the letters. And we probably have more of the ones here. It looks like there's probably six more possibly that I didn't get well this is probably the ending of the main game but there is the um, DLC or the expansion or whatever you want to call it I call it expansion so I'm guessing that's probably gonna be another Let's see, I played the game for about three hours first time, and now it's been about an hour, so it's a four-hour game. The expansion's probably going to be maybe an hour at max. Yes, that's it, my love. I am so, so sorry. No, it's a lie. It's always been a lie. It won't bring them back. I see it now. I know what must be done. Uh, you gotta kill yourself so you can supposedly join them? Is this like the first cutscene we've had since the beginning? So basically it means the game was useless. But that was Layers of Fear. Um, I played it for the first Fear Fest I did back in 2017. And finally, six years later, I have finished the game. So... I want to say that it's not scary to me, but, well, I mean, it's not scary to me, but, um, well, once again, I have not found a game that has scared me. Like, it's still, I, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to find a game that will scare me. I, I liked the story, I didn't like the ending, but I liked the story, more or less, um, this, the cool, like, impossible space was really nice. I thought this was made in Canada, not like, uh... These names are, like, Polish, maybe? Or, um... Yeah, that's, that looks Polish to me. Uh, but, anyways, um... Yeah, the impossible space was really cool. Uh, it feels like um, a lot of horror games 
nowadays are kind of like these walking simulators and so that's kind of what this felt like in a little a bit it felt like a walking simulator that had a few spooky things going on but you know that's okay too because I, I if you really think about it most people are kind of um, most games are kind of like uh, walking simulators if you really think about it I'm just gonna let the credits roll and then we'll come back to the um, expansion and then we'll play that I don't know what it's about but you know whatever thing behind me is my bed and posters on my wall of AFI and my favorite guitar player SRV so I believe this is the expansion so let's uh, start I have no idea uh, what this is at, at all um, I saw uh, the game, the main game, played once by, I thought it was uh, Super Best Friends, but it was actually Christopher Odd. And I think I watched when I was a all child, of it. I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. Ah, uh, so the flashlight is for this. Um, Edvard Munch, by the way, I have a nice quote I liked from him as well. Maybe I'll look for it and find it. I'm pretty sure it was Edvard Munch, because Edvard is a very strange name that I've heard. Yeah, uh, this definitely runs better because he doesn't uh, limp. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is I think I've watched the game all the way through, but I don't think I did because I don't remember the ending. What I usually do is I stop watching it. If I re realize like I should probably, I'll play this myself, so I'll stop watching it. And so that means um, at the very least, I don't know the ending of the game. So I'll be able to watch it now and see if there are different endings. Um, or not. That being said, I, I know nothing about this, but now I can tell it must be, uh, we're playing as the kid. I like how the violin started with all the broken glass. in here a lot of a lot more voice acting going on
looking at me like that? That dog is there for a reason. Oh, all right. You can let him out. For now. I'm guessing the dog was like to get rid of the mice or rats or whatever. Interesting. Um, still life. Barely. Why wait? Why wait for hell? Yeah, she's gonna find out both her parents are basically assholes or dicks or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> this place is a mess. You, 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 Say that now after uh... I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards. You're not getting away this time. What the hell are you doing in there? Get out. So is this just going to be like a walking simulator, definitely, with no horrifying stuff? Well, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. I like how our character was afraid, and I'm just like, okay. We can move in this no, thought. No, not how it went. I told you never to come down here. Yeah, it sounds like neither of her parents liked her. Or that's what they're trying to go for I think in the game like they're making it seem like but I doubt that's actually true I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight memory simulator Too old for that childish nonsense.
Finally! Are you ready to embrace true art? Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant and full of life. But also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season. Where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Okay, so I should have probably went upstairs first before going here. Y'all take blue. So we're basically looking for paint. Color that. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we got a good enough paint. Blue will be good for the sky. Oh, they sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser. Just like you. What else? Let's look for like brown or something. Or maybe green. Green might be nice. It's a very nature like color. That's blue. We already did blue. That's red. That won't make sense. Which is probably what it should be since this is a horror game and red is, is slightly a horror color. But I'm going to go with yellow for the sun because there's no green. I like how I can technically go back to the crayon. No, put that down. You are doing so well. What are you doing? Put that down. You're much too old for that childish nonsense. I'm going to explore the child world first. And then we'll go back to the the cooler looking stuff. The little girl in red was walking through the woods when suddenly, out of nowhere, Jumped out, you know who. Eyes glowing bloody red, teeth sharp as razors. And yet the big bad wolf did not seem to phase her. <laughs> Be careful, little girl, the big bad wolf sneered. You're in fantasy land, where things ain't what they seem. Oh, shush, you big old meanie, the frightened girl exclaimed. You're the only threat in this wonderful land. With my magic crayons, I can do no harm. I can make the trees yellow, turn them upside down, turn grass into candy, make the sky go red. I can do whatever pops into my head. The wolf was unimpressed with his show of skill. You do have the power to do what you will. Alas, that wolf looks I like a lichen and that's so strength, cool. For you are responsible for what you create. You're nasty, jealous, and mean, said the little girl. I just want to have fun. And you want me to learn. 
I wish a big old rock would fall down from the sky and crush your big bad mouth into a minced meat pie. Don't do it, I beg you, the big wolf cried. You lack scale and perspective, my sweet little child. But it was too late. His warning fell on deaf ears. Down came the rock and smashed them all to smithereens. It's a lovely story. All right. So I think I did see a little bit of this game because I do remember this crayon world. Or I remember there was such a thing but then I didn't actually watch it. Creativity is not a toy, it's a gift. Do you want to squander it like all those careless brats out there? It's a little bit of both. I'm, I'm bored of this world, so... I want to see what the other one has. It had better art. <laughs> Finally! Are you ready to embrace true... Oh, the summer trees. So green and vibrant All right, and full of life. So, let's go with but blue also first. Young and <laughs> let's try to find the most poignant season. Where they are wiser, have some stories to tell. Let's get the dog thing going. What color is that? I don't know. Because there's red, blue. I thought that was yellow for some weird reason. They sway in the breeze, but are none the wiser, just like you. Ah, yes, the autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Um. Ooh, that looks nice. I like this color. will do in times of prosperity we need to see how it fares when misery darkens the sky it was dark you fat fuck well, that's not a dark color Just out of reach.
Not sure what it is, but it's a thing. I'm blocked here so I can't go this way but I can't go further over that way as well I think it's a cat. It got like really hard to push that up the stairs. Oh, you still can't go back. So we do have to keep pushing it up. why everything's so horrifying by pushing a ball, but okay. Oh, so we had to use black instead of like a dark blue. That's kind of lame. But I guess I was right, I had to go to, like, as far away from everything as possible. You know, the furthest thing away, basically. You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. Um, would a bit, so yellow would be too much. yellow but I feel like yellow is too bright but might as well get it but I can't, can't think of anything else 